Hi everybody, welcome to 11 Residences, Miami. Are you ready? Let's go. First of all, let's take a look at both buildings. The one on the left here is the 11 Hotel and Residences, and the one on the right is the 11 Residences Beyond. We'll go over more details in a minute. For now, let's check out the model unit. Look at this beautiful place. Floor to ceiling windows, amazing bed, and just the view is outstanding. Decoration, unbelievable. And why is this important? Because these units are actually gonna come fully furnished. So once you get yours, you can expect to see exactly what you're looking at right now. Let's take a look at this beautiful bathroom. Everything's super modern. The lighting's amazing. Unreal. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Just outstanding. Let, let's take a look at the shower. Come on. In fact, I'm gonna take a shower right now, if you don't mind. All right, just real quick. You know, I have to do it. It's part of, it's like a ritual for me. Just give me one minute. All right, let's see, the hot water, yada, yada, yada. It's good, nice. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get out of here. Let's look at the closet here. Nice walk-in closet. You can hang your shirts and also shoes. Let's take a look over here. Everything's good, looking good. Uh, you can put your shoes right there for the ladies or the gentlemen. And let's walk out again to the foyer and check out this kitchen. Unreal. Everything is super modern once again. The floors. You know, it's just unreal. Come on, take a look. Well, look at this. I really see myself in this place, literally. And this, everything's so modern. Look at this light. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm in a spaceship of some sort. And the balcony? Oof. Look at this balcony. I feel like I'm at a party right now. You know? I think I would throw a party here every day. So, uh, yeah. I mean, just look at the view. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I would ever leave that balcony. And yeah, it's like I'm at a party right now. All right. Oh, hey. There's some friends. What's going on? Be right back. All right, let's take a closer look at this balcony. These views are basically exactly what it will look like. All right, let's take a look at this other bedroom here. The view is incredible. Could you imagine waking up to this or going to bed? Just, I don't know if I could ever get any sleep. Ah, oh, man, look at that, beautiful. Here, your closet is uh, slightly different. And again, it looks like a spaceship. Very futuristic. And the bathroom. Yep, look at that. And what I love is that you can put your shampoo, your cologne, everything in there. And, you know, let me take another shower real quick. I love these things. You know, because you can also sing. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. So, just unreal. Again, look, you can put your shampoo, your conditioner, all your beauty products, whatever you want to put in there. All right, let's get out of this model unit and look at the best part of this place. Yep, that's right. Virtual reality, baby. Honestly, if you've ever seen the movie Matrix, that's exactly what this felt like. Our amazing guide, he was phenomenal. He was almost like Murphy's taking uh, Neo through the Matrix. <laughs> and then they gave us an amazing presentation, going over all the details and everything else. All right, now let's go over more details on how the 11 Towers got started. The developer, PMG, which is also doing other projects like the Waldorf Astoria. Uh, they also have the uh, Elzer and other buildings around the city like Muse and Sunny Isles, Echo and Brickhole. Echo Aventura, the Waldorf, 
which is going to be the first skyscraper in Miami, a hundred stories tall. And that video is coming soon. But anyways, about 10 years ago, Group 11, which are the owners of Club 11, decided to get into real estate. Now, if you've ever been to Club 11, you may already know that it is a club that runs 24 seven. I would say nightclub, but it's like a day club too, right? I mean, it's 24 seven. <laughs> and uh, it is quite amazing. And it became the number one club in the country. And now it is the number seven club in the world. So they definitely established themselves as a name and as a brand. So they came to PMG, um, which are the developers of this project and said, once again, that they want to get into real estate, just kind of like the uh, SLS came about, you know, and at that time, um, PMG was focusing on the Waldorf Astoria, which is something totally different, right? <laughs> and now they're contemplating this new project, you know, which is uh, very more, you know, very much related to like entertainment and nightlife. But because the CEO at uh, PMG, uh, he's very young and very open minded, he decided to move forward with this idea and they decided to come up with a brand that would combine enter entertainment and luxury. So they decided to come up with a sort of a Las Vegas concept. So in 2021, they launched 11 hotel and residences, which is uh, the building that, you know, that has the, the pool with a screen, which basically runs like a hotel. All right, it will run like a five star hotel with amenities such as the day club pool, where they're going to have, you know, top of the line DJs and whatnot. They're gonna have two signature restaurants, a spa, which is not your everyday spa. <laughs> you ready for this? If you've ever heard of Dr. Deepak Chopra, <laughs> who is huge, you know, he's like a guru in meditation and wellness. Well, he's going to be basically running the spa. <laughs> in other words, he doesn't really have an official spa in the United States. Well, not till now, because now he does. All right. If you had told me that Dr. Deepak Chopra was going to be involved with Club 11, I would have been quite surprised. I mean, I, am, I still am a little bit <laughs> that they're in business, but they are. So that is quite fascinating. All right. Now here, uh, they also try to get a casino, but the government said no. However, they are getting the licensing to have the first ever sport betting lounge. And that will be amazing. The renderings are not public yet, but you know, from what I hear, it will be jaw dropping 10,000 square feet with an outdoor beer garden, just something out of this world. All right. So the 11 hotel and residences launched in 2021. And guess what? It was sold out in five months. Yep, sold out. <laughs> they basically broke record with that success and they figured, hey, let's keep the momentum going and let's go for a second tower, which is why they decided to launch 11 residences beyond, which will be the residential tower. All right, right next to it. And it's really more like a VIP tower because uh, the residents there will actually be able to use all the amenities in the hotel. So the hotel cannot go into the residences, but the residents can go into the hotel. So that's quite amazing. All right. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that it will also be designed for corporate stays, which is 30 day rentals. So people can stay for a month, two months. And, uh, you know, and this is more for the client that is looking for the amenities, for the benefits, for the status, for the brand, you know, that will be here part time or even less. Because as an owner at 11 Beyond, you have access to the hotel, as I mentioned. And not only that, but you get priority reservations to the spa, to the nightclub, you get VIP. So it's perfect if you want to have this kind of lifestyle. Um, in the building, there will also be two stories of office spaces. So you can have private meetings or for working and residents will have access to the Deepak Chopra spa and also to the day club pool. Uh, basically every day, unless there's some sort of event going on, in which case they will just have to buy a ticket to, to get into the, uh, the event. Keep in mind, there will also be a beach club. They did a partnership with a hotel in South Point. So the residents will, will be able to get all the benefits of the beach club as well. You know, valet parking, so on and so forth. 
Also, as I mentioned before, the uh, the units will be delivered not only finished, but also furnished with top of the line everything. Um, the designers are Waterworks, which is the best of the best. They're very, it's a very high end product. And another really cool thing about this project is that it will have a helipath. It will be the third helipath in downtown. So that's basically a place where helicopters can land. All right. The first helipath is in the 1000 Museum. The second is in the Aston Martin. And this will be the third one. Now, the difference is that those two helipaths are private. But this one will be public. So for many buyers and clientele that wishes to show up on a helicopter, like I might myself, if you don't mind, and maybe you will as well, uh, you will be able to use the helipath. So that is amazing. When it comes to the payment schedule, uh, they're only requesting 30% um, because it's already under construction and they can break that into 10, 10 and 10. Basically 10% now, 10% in six months and the other 10% in December. Uh, they expect it to be done by 2026. HOA will be a dollar forty cents per square foot, and again, this is all for beyond. Now, keep in mind that about 95% has been sold. But now, you know, since those towers did so well, they decided to have the concept of Vegas lifestyle, which is where West 11 comes in, and that will be the third tower. <laughs> So they are developing basically all of 11th Street and it will become District 11. It will be like a mini Las Vegas catered to entertainment. All right. Another advantage is that you're going to be neighbors with the Miami World Center. So that's the reason why jumping into this kind of investment right now will be very sought after because it will bring in significant appreciation. It's also very centralized to everything. The airport, Wynwood, Midtown. Miami Beach, I mean, you name it. Now also West 11 is doing so well that it even signed a partnership with Airbnb. It'll be the first building to sign an official partnership with Airbnb. Now West 11, uh, keep in mind, it will only have studios and one bedrooms. All right. Uh, it will have 44 stories, three floors of amenities. Valet will be free for the owner and the long term tenants. Also a signature restaurant. And uh, an interesting feature is that the ceiling of the restaurant will actually be a pool. So you will be able to see people swimming right above you while you're having lunch. <laughs> and something that is super cool, I'm going to show you guys uh, some videos of that or images very soon, is that it's going to have a sculpture of a gigantic whale, which is going to be crossing from the pool into the restaurant. Breathtaking. You can only imagine how many people are going to be taking selfies with that. Literally, Instagram is going to blow up. <laughs> um, also, there will be a super nice food hall, like Casa Tua style kind of thing. And uh, now from the 16th to the 44th floor, there will be 22 residences per floor. The majority studios. As of today, all the studios are sold out. <laughs> but they still have one bedroom starting at around 1 million. Uh, and basically in high floors, starting on the 36th floor. All right. Now, because the studios were in such high demand, the developer decided to add more units. So they took space from the garage area and created four floors with three units per floor and added studios there. And those are going for 580 to 680,000. And now keep in mind that the design of these studios is very much like a one bedroom. And the uh, HOA for these are going to be one, 125 per square foot. All right, when it comes to the payment plan for West 11, it'll be 30% down, um, basically 10% under contract, 20% in groundbreaking, which is going to be this summer, sometime between June and August. And the uh, building itself uh, should be finished in 2027. All right, so if you're looking for an investment, your best bet is West 11 because it offers short-term rentals and it's managed in-house. So no need to worry about anything. Plus, Airbnb will be doing all the booking for you. And you're wondering, how much is Airbnb going to take? What's their cut? It'll be only 15%. That's one five. 15%. That's their cut. All right. So this will really be hard cash flow, pure investment. All right. The best thing is that it's not a condo hotel either. So there won't be any restrictions or blackout dates, you know. So if you want to use this for New Year's, 
or for any day of the year, you can do that. They're not gonna restrict anything like that, all right? So in fact, the owner can actually choose your own blackout dates, all right? You can say you wanna use it for New Year's, you wanna use it for Santiago's birthday, you wanna use it for whatever, you got it. Anyways, that is all for now, everybody. If you have any questions, please, you can always reach me uh, via direct messages or simply send me an email if you would like more information. And that is at info at SantiagoAMarino.com. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.